Good morning. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the uh, CMAX energy flows and also I wanted to talk to you about a problem uh, we ran into with a low voltage uh, 12 volt battery um, which we had replaced in January. We got the vehicle in November of 2014 and the thing had set on the lot for possibly a year or so and the low voltage battery in it had sulfated and went bad so they replaced it for us for free but uh, still uh, just recently we ran into a day when we got in the vehicle and it was dead and by dead I mean that what I think is happening is that uh, the voltage in the battery gets low enough where there's a relay that uh, won't open or, or excuse me goes goes open and uh, it uh, it's a protective feature I think to stop the battery from draining anymore so when you get in the vehicle it appears to be dead as soon as you hook up jumper cables to it it you hear a click and it opens up and the vehicle becomes energized again. So I'm not sure about all the specifics on this but the um, forums I went online to read apparently this is uh, a problem that's cropped up with more than a few CMAX owners and they they didn't get very much satisfaction from taking their car to the dealer and I'm kind of thinking that it may be just a design flaw or programming flaw or whatever and that when you're driving the vehicle normally in other words when you use the engine at a normal rate it's not a problem that comes up but us for example we might only drive the vehicle on Saturday and then on Monday and Tuesday we're taking our son to work and those are short runs so on Monday and Tuesday we can do all Monday and Tuesday in electric only mode and then the vehicle can set there um, Wednesday Thursday maybe and we'll not use it again till Friday well when we've done that we've effectively left the vehicle setting without recharging the battery because it's not like a regular vehicle where every time you start your car the engine automatically charges the battery and so the vehicles may be set there for possibly six days without the battery getting any charging and yet you've used the vehicle and you've been using power off the low voltage battery. So what I decided to do was this. Um, this right here is simply a battery maintainer and float charger. And the idea is that on Wednesday, for example, after we've used the vehicle for a couple of days in electric only mode, we're going to go ahead and plug this in to the main, to the 12 volt battery. Now right here, let's see if I can show you this. You can see the positive lead, and the negative lead is down here, and you can't hardly see it, but... Uh, the battery's not actually in the engine bay, it's in the back of the car. So they give you a couple posts up front here for jumping it. So this is our plan. We're going to give the battery uh, a maintenance charge in the middle of the week. So, and we also do have uh, um, a, a jump box that we carry around the vehicle all the time. So if we're out and about and we happen to get into a problem, the uh, we wouldn't be stranded and this is it we got it from Harbor Freight and it's it's the Viking um, and it's one of these small lithium ion battery packs let me show it to you here not very big you can see how big 
big it is. It's a little bigger in my hand, but it's uh, it's uh, 1,200 milliamp hours, and there's the jumpers. And also, you can uh, I have a uh, selfie stick here, and apparently it doesn't like being turned that way or something. Anyway, here, I'll show it to you. I'll hold it up. And this thing is really nice. I mean, it... Uh, let's see here. There you can see it's got all four lights. It's 100% charged. And it, could, it could sit in your car for three months or so without any concerns whatsoever about self-discharging. And... Uh, on sale, it was like $70, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to leave that here for now. Um, I want to get into one other thing. We've done some calculations on this, and uh, the um, sticks loose. Um, the last time I Fueled up, it's a couple days ago. Uh, we had 524.5 miles on the vehicle. And it said we were getting 88.5 miles per gallon. And we would went 319.1 EV miles and used 69.3 kilowatt hours. So I gave it my usual treatment. In other words, um, the 69.3 kilowatt hours really translated to 85.239 kilowatt hours out of the out of the plug. So I had spent six dollars and eighty-two cents on electricity and twelve dollars and eighty-eight cents on gasoline. So my total cost for that 524 mile run was nineteen dollars and seventy cents. And when I added the gallons together, I ended up with uh, 8.59 gallons. And when you divide that back into the 524.5 miles, you end up with uh, 61.28 miles per gallon. Now, this is um, quite a little bit of development here because the, my records show that the last three or four uh, vehicle fill-ups, using this same mathematical treatment, I only averaged uh, 55.7 miles per gallon. So, obviously, the charging efficiency has gained me, in this case, about five, a little over 5 miles per gallon. And that's because of that multiplier, that 1.23 multiplier, is different than the 1.32 multiplier you use for 120 volts. So, um, and in this case, also I've gotten in more EV miles. It looks like um, a little over 60% of my miles are EV miles, and a little less than 40% is my uh, um, ICE engine miles. So, anyway, I really don't have a good accounting for regen miles yet but uh, so this gives you a good idea of what this vehicle is capable of uh, um, I wanted to make this video about the charging the 12 volt uh, low voltage battery because this is a problem you can get into if you if you use EV mode too much uh, just think of it as what if you had a regular car and only 40% of the time you were driving did it ever charge the battery. And 60% of the time while you were driving, it wasn't charging the battery. So you could see how maybe over time you might get into a problem with low voltage on the, on the battery. And there's a lot of different demands being made on this battery that isn't being made on a normal car. So... Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, again, I'm showing you the car right now. And 
we're a little more than 10 minutes into here so um, we still like the car despite this uh, problem with the low voltage battery which we think Ford hasn't uh, taken the proper steps to correct over time and not everybody runs into it but uh, um, and there may be something Ford could do for us about it but uh, in the meantime we're just going to see how it goes with the uh, <coughs> treating the battery as if it's in storage occasionally and and maintaining it that way so I'm gonna let you go now and uh, happy EV driving everybody and we'll see you down the road